we are here at the Videndum booth at NAB 2023, where Videndum is making image-based lighting more accessible. Check it out. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jiayun, Small Rig, and b and Hi, we're here at NAB 2023 at the Videndum booth with Michael, Lighting Product Manager for Videndum. Uh, Michael, I'm standing in a, on a broadcast stage. What, what am I seeing here? So what you're seeing here is our new system where we're bringing image-based lighting to broadcast studios. Um, what we've got is a, a range of Gemini fixtures and Quasar Science double rainbows that are set up to integrate with the video that is on this back wall, but also an AR element that is inset on the screen as well. But rather than using a big console to control it all or a, a board operator, this is all just going back to a stream deck where all the cues are lined up and it's been designed to integrate into standard broadcast studio workflows. So if we're taking a step back, I mean, we already have the wall. Why do we need all the lights? The wall is, it, wall is one thing, but when you're lit purely by the wall, you're, obviously you need to have some front light as well to, to bring you away from it. So what we're doing is uh, in, by splitting the signal out and integrating it with the lighting, it creates a more dynamic environment. As it flickers above you, as it receives the video signal and moves with the video wall, it really places the anchor in the center of the action and really enhances the storytelling. And how, how many lights are we talking about here? We've got about 30 lights in total here, so it's pretty dense for the size of the setup. So if you had a wall twice as large, you'd probably use about the same amount of lights for that, depending on you know, other, other sort of variations. But yeah, it's, it's yeah, about 30 lights here at the moment. Okay, uh, talk to me about control. Is this DMX controlled, or what, what's the juice that's running the system? So the, the rainbows are taking streaming ACN. They take it natively through the Cat5 uh, Ethernet port, and the Geminis are taking DMX. And who's telling them what to do? Like, what's the what, what is the brain doing here? So we have uh, we've developed a control box that integrates into your your, your control room within your your new studio, in your broadcast studio, and uh, we have a, a computer system in there, and our own software, and our own setup, and a bunch of a uh, bunch of different things controlling it that basically receive the, the video signals and they, they translate them into the appropriate language for the lights. They synchronize everything and then they allow it all to be controlled through that that stream deck. That, that sounds amazing. I would love to see a demo of what sure. this system can do. Sure, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we've got probably four or five different scenes that we can uh, throw up on the wall now. You can see how it works. Let's do it. All right. So, Michael, this is obviously the tradition LED wall that is becoming very popular in the, in the industry. What else can you guys do? So, at the moment with this wall, we've got uh, yeah video signal going in here, and you can see a little bit of movement in the rainbows overhead. Where it gets really interesting, if, if uh, when the AR element comes in, you can see that the lights above us now on the front are reflecting the same signal that's coming through uh, coming through from there. So those sirens, as they uh, as they flash red and blue, start to place me a lot more effectively in that environment. I mean, it can be a more gradual effect as well. So like a sunrise is quite an interesting way of showing it. As you see the sun rising up from the corner here, it starts going up and you see it moving across the, um, the, the quasar tubes there. And when it reaches its peak at the top, you can start to see how it wraps around me and you, and you as well. Again, just creating a you know more sort of realistic environment. Uh, you could additionally do, um, uh, we think weather is a, is a really good opportunity for this. So something like a lightning scene, this is a really good example of just how well it moves in real time. So everything is just like Cat5 daisy chain. So it's pinging through at the exact same time as it is on the wall. And uh, there's no lag. It's perfectly synced from the start. And again, it's just the flashes overhead. If you didn't have those in place, you'd just be, you know, you'd have the silhouette from the, uh, the wall behind you and you'd have some key lighting as well. But having that overhead just, you know, creates that more sort of immersive environment. And obviously, this is quite a bit of setup, so I assume this is not a box that you're just shipping out. If I wanted my studio equipped with this, what are the next steps? Uh, you get in contact with uh, myself uh, or any of our sales representatives, and we will look at your studio. We can help you design it. We can do all the commissioning and the installation, and we'll leave you with a very, very simple to operate system. That will be, uh, be yours to use as you wish. That sounds amazing, Michael. It looks like you really brought down the scale of it and made it affordable, uh, you know, even to small to medium scale studios. Um, thank you so much for having us. Hey, no problem. Anytime. Stick around. We're going to keep walking the floor, show you some more news and gear from NAB 2023. I'm Udi Tirosh, DIYphotography.net. Mm -hmm.